Hello and welcome. It is Soaring Moon here, and it's about that time of the month again, people, where we need to review the economy for Trove. I am here. Let's get started. So if you haven't taken a look at the economy here recently, it's been a little, a little wild. Um, we've had some changes, and of those changes were an increase in some things that you wouldn't really expect, like, um, like, fair dust went straight up like really high it was it was hovering like 120 almost all month and the reason why that was is because if you look at the chaos bench find it, it there are a lot of these premium collectibles mainly the wings that require a ton of uh fairy dust in order to craft same thing with enchanted wood Enchanted Wood uh, was at 40, it's now at 30, um, and actually that's a little low because these guys are selling at 34, probably snap those up real quick, but it, it's been hovering at really high prices, mainly because of these uh, Chaos Crafter collectibles, and like here, golden tea shells that's the price isn't gonna really hike up on those but you get like sticky ichor requires 900 and then you know 1200 more enchanted wood and then uh, these ones require more even even more fairy dust so it's been keeping that up costumes re requiring fairy dust fairy dust fairy dust you know so <laughs> the the price hiked up on fairy dust like really high and since i was collecting fairy dust to expand the land my my club world um it, it was it was a real real hitter on my on my flux storage another big thing that's been hitting the market recently and it's been pretty bad is pearls of wisdom have been hovering at like 11k um for almost all month and then they were going up the price has been going up like 500 flux every three to four days and it's just been you know right up there and with the with people not growing as many chestnuts now um another thing that's been, been increasing in price is a rich fertilizer so if you look at rich fertilizer um it's been you know up uh it was up to like 14 and then after that dropped off after like Monday it's been going into Thursday but I'm sav saving that for to sell on Monday and go check it out I have a ton of rich fertilizer which I'm using for bottle plants because I plan on expanding this club world's land mass probably go straight over my building but there's just so much mm, man there's just so much flux in growing like steed feed and and bottle plants and all the stuff that, that you know that gives resources back like bleach bone bleached bone has been hovering up and you're going to be starting to notice a lot of decrease in prices. That's because there have been a lot of flux sinks releasing mainly from the uh, from the Chaos Crafter wings and from the, the the Cobalt chip that recently came out. So a lot of flux has been sucked out of the, the economy from that. And even with that happening, the Pearl of Wisdom prices are still increasing. And because everybody needs pearls of wisdom, like everyone, I don't even have any. I've been selling them. It's just that they're so high, they're so expensive. And for the souls, like radiant, radiant souls, they're so worthless. They're they're just they're worthless. <laughs> I mean, you can you can make stellar with almost nothing. You can buy uh, buy stellar from from trade for like forty. 40k a piece. We'll even open up trade chat. 
so you can see what that's like. It may not even be on at this time of night. <laughs> it's like 3 a.m. See in the corner, 3.30, 3. But right now, uh, with all the stuff that's happening in the economy, the good things to sell right now are pearls of wisdom and like um, fairy dust and bottles and, and infinium. buy those. They're undersold. I have so much Infinium because I bought a lot before and then resold it to make a bunch of flux. A lot of my flux has went into that um that farm for for rich fertilizer. So but right now I have a hundred hundred K in that and then I'll I'll make that back rather rather easily. Uh just so it's it's so wacky recipes recipes are still hovering at 200 so if you're going to farm anything and here's my here's my bottom line on this one if you're going to farm uh farm anything farm uh, recipes radiant shards and um and, and ores because shape stone is like four or three four flux Things right after, right after the ore day, so all the prices are still bad. Um, and then even, as usual, formicide still two flux a piece, so you can still make money on on mining formicide with bombs. Bombs themselves, as usual, fifteen flux a piece. And then even if you're on a block destroyed week like right now, big bombs also a good good way to make flux so you have bombs radiant shards recipes they're all good radiant shards four or five flux piece it's almost predictable always is so it doesn't matter how many they're always snapped up they're always bought um radiant caches As usual, farm them. Nobody else does. <laughs> like, uh, and to get to get them, it's it's nothing. You just fly over to the to that portal and look for sky giants and kill them until you find them. Well, that was that was eventful. <laughs> But it's amazing how quickly you can make flux from that because I have my view I have my render distance all the way up, so I don't know why I couldn't see them. But you'll have the sky giants here and it, like there's no excuse because I can I can one shot these things. I can do this all day. And especially if you get it does increase their drop rate on box opening days. So Tomorrow, where the adventure loot is increased, you can get almost one in six. One in six giants will drop them. So, with has how how many how easy they are to kill. Boom, 1.4k flux, no problem. Not an issue. So if you if you do that and you have that kind of power, and you can one shot these giants like nothing, it's it's pointless to even pretend like you can't make flux from that and people are people are like eh, it's so hard to farm flux it's not really not uh, if you sell things that are desirable that have low supply and high demand uh, like these radiant caches and even if you can't sell them right even if you can't sell them see that boom 500 flux no problem because you can sell you can only sell the shards so, I mean, there's always, with as easy as these, 1.4k flux, right there. I mean, I made 2.8k in the 1 minute and 40 seconds I've been here. 1 minute and 40 seconds. 
like you have no no idea how easy it is to farm flux to uh, just getting radiant caches. It's 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 dumb. <laughs> it's really it really is, and nobody's going out and farming these things because it doesn't even matter. The the radiant farming uh, shard farming day doesn't increase the rate at which which these things drop. So it's always the same. The only thing that actually increases the rate at which they drop is the inventor loot, and it only goes from like one to eight, uh, one in eight to one in six, drop rate. Which is interesting. I I have a theory that um that actually increases the rate at which you get uh, chaos chests as well, and we noticed that we've been getting uh, double chaos chest drops on gym box days for some reason. So it it might, it might be a bug. It's really it's really sparingly. I did think almost 1,800 dungeons when I was farming the gym boxes in in the one gym box day, and I got um, double chaos just drops maybe three times. So it's it, it happens so and often that it's really hard to catch. So I mean, it may, people may have not noticed noticed that uh, it, it, if it's a bug, it happens sparingly, and so it doesn't really hurt anything. 1.4k flux. I mean, while on camera, on camera, I made uh, 4,200 flux. I've made 1,000 flux a minute. 60k flux an hour. 60k flux an hour. <laughs> and that's nothing. You play for 8 hours, half a million flux. Easy. Like, there's no... I don't... Uh, complaints about how, how to farm flux and all that. Farm radiant caches. And nobody else does. And the only people, only people who watch this, this, this video, five thousand of you that actually play this game, <laughs> and and watch this video, farm radiant caches. And if everybody else is selling radiant caches and the price drops, guess what? Um, they can't be worth less than one seventieth of the cost of the mount radiant steed. Uh, plus uh, 500 flux plus 200 flux because of the um, one in uh, six chance to drop blank scrolls. So if the price drops below um, 900 or 800, you can make a profit from actually buying radiant caches and opening them because of the chances of getting a radiant steed and chances of getting blank scrolls. So the price can't possibly be any lower than like 800. So it doesn't matter how many of them that you're going to sell. It doesn't how, matter how many uh, uh, people are selling. It will eventually become a point where opening the radiant caches will get you a net profit uh, over 800 flux. What I'm saying is that it's 800 flux per radiant cache, no matter how long, how many times you farm them, you farm 10,000 of those things and distribute each uh, 1,000 to each of your friends and they could all start selling them and the price wouldn't actually drop below 800 because the Radiant Shards are worth more. Then um, the, you have 500 uh, costs from Radiant Shards and you have 200 uh, costs from the scrolls and then you have, um, you know, whatever Radiant Corona's worth plus the Radiant Seed and the Radiant Steed since nobody opens those things, the Radiant Steed's 30k, right? And that's actually a cheap one. So that's 5, 5k price disparity. So I could go through here and like buy all of these, right? <laughs> and then resell them uh, at, at a markup, especially that 30k one. If, if you buy the 30k one and flip it right now for uh, for 32, it'll make 2k flux. <laughs> so if you watch this video and buy that one, there you go, easy flux. So I mean, don't don't worry about it. My for the month, if you're gonna sell anything, if you come across the pearl, sell it. Don't even don't use it on your gear. Nothing. Sell that. That's a really good source of flux. You'll always get more pearls. You'll 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 find them on you'll find them. You wait for the um, uh, try on to do something that decreases the price of pearl, pearls because they're eventually gonna have to lower that thing anyway. They're gonna have to. It's getting too expensive. So they're going to make the pearls easier to obtain in some way to, to, to offset the price. I know they'll do that. And then if you have any uh, any 
Radiant Shards, sell those, and f farm them on farm them on Fridays because you can get like um, like reasonably like 10k an hour, 10k shards an hour if you farm them, and that's like it's like 40k flux. If you even if you're just farming shards, that's just shards. If you're getting the caches and you can one hit the uh, one hit the giants, you're gonna have no problem. Just reaping through them and then and then getting uh, getting caches and it's not like they're hard to sell they'll always sell and you again you can always just open them and then you know there are 1000 flux right there 500 flux right there no problem don't even if you if you don't sell them open them and then sell the contents because radiant shards will sell faster than than you could ever imagine and the reason I opened up the, the trade chat and we can scroll through this now so you can see we can show you what the uh, the stellar prices are um, we're talking about here's one to sell stellar 80k hat whatever that's a bad price right a spear with attack speed right health regeneration attack speed 40k so if you're getting anything other than crit damage crit damage is 100k flux but almost every other every other stat item is like 30k so you could potentially if you wanted to flip that um, buy a bunch of them wait for them to make a second stat reroll and then like <laughs> sell them all at once after the second stat reroll uh, re period and you know, that would be a good source of flux uh, S4 rings about 70k each so if you want to get your stellar gear on your character really it's like Three hours of farming radiant caches. I mean, I've spent I've spent longer in Pokemon, and I have I have only beat one Pokemon game, right? Grinding a Pokemon <laughs> for three hours. You can you can spend that time. You, you've spent longer leveling your character with dungeons. I mean, you have no. Don't complain. Go 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 here. Uh, even even if you have a, a weaker class, right? Even if you have a weaker class. Kill them, get their essence, continue onward. So, uh, even if you have a weaker class, Lunar Lancer, you're right. We can kill this thing at 2.7k power. You kidding me? <laughs> These things are only 2.5. They're only, uh, they're only U5. You can kill them. It'll just take a while, but you can kill them. You can solo this. You don't. If you have a team of people, right? You can split your uh, you can split your losses. So you can you can get you can kill the enemies more quickly and uh, share your caches if even if you want to. You know, if you're farming with a group or somebody who's coordinated, you can do it. Trust me, uh, it's not a problem. So if you know, reiterate this once after another after another. Every other method of, of farming flux is inconsequential. It's irrelevant compared to radiant cash farming. That's my, for this month, radiant cash farming. Farm radiant caches. Sell them. They can't be worth less than 800 flux a piece. So you're flooding, your, it's flooding the market. It's not going to even bother. If it, if it dips down to 600 flux, buy the radiant caches for all that's holy buy the radiant caches open them and then sell the contents you'll make a profit all right uh that's about it i'll see you guys later okay thanks bye